What's up? How do you do? Today we've got another video as part of Bop Stream Series, and today's video is all about how to do multi tracks in OBS with a Go XLR. We're good to go. Some of you out there might be raising an eyebrow right now since Helicon itself, when they promote the Go XLR, talk about how, you know, we're going to give you this device that's going to give you a single audio input in OBS, making it easier than ever. And some of you may have even bought the Go XLR knowing that that was one of the features. Makes sense. It's really simple. I mean, there's a lot of things to do in OBS and all you have to do is go into your settings, set the single audio source, whether it be a line in from your streaming PC, if you've got a dual PC setup or the stream mix from the Go XLR itself and then you're done you don't have to touch audio ever again i'm here to tell you that's not really actually a good strategy and like most things when it sounds too easy it's too easy and probably not the best way to do it specifically the reason why this can be a problem is we live in a world now where most of these social media sites and video hosting sites like twitch and youtube and twitter and instagram so on and so forth are starting to cut down pretty hard on things like dmcaa i I think I added a, an extra A in that. DMCA. DMCAA. It's just DMCA. In other words, you got to keep copyrighted music out of your VOD. You got to keep it off of Twitter. You got to keep it out of YouTube videos. The list goes on and on. In the best case scenario, your VODs get muted. Uh, in the worst case scenario, you find yourself having a suspended Twitch account or kicked off of YouTube, etc., etc. But most people want to play music during their live streams, and that's actually okay. It's just the recorded part that's a problem. A Go XLR with a single input doesn't give you an option for separating out things that you wouldn't want in say your VODs or your local recordings. So being able to set up multi-tracks with the Go XLR is not only a good idea, it's a necessity for most people who want to continue to deliver great content. In addition, I'm not exactly sure when they showed up in OBS, but OBS now has given their content creators the ability to separate out audio from their stream and their saved VODs on Twitch. This is huge. This changes everything. No more going through music for hours trying to find what is safe and what is not or even worse removing music altogether from your live streams now you have the ability using multi-tracks and obs to nitpick what type of audio is going to your live stream and what type of live audio is going to your vod in addition i've talked about this in my other videos how important it is to create content efficiently right twitch is not discoverable if the only thing you're doing is streaming on twitch and not doing any any sort of content creation on other social media sites or other video hosting sites, then you're probably gonna have a hard time growing your community. One thing that I think is really important for everybody who streams using OBS on Twitch to do is at the same time, create local recordings. And those local recordings, you also don't wanna have music. In fact, not only do you probably not want music, you definitely don't want your alerts and things like that. You may additionally not want your own mic in those local recordings or your voice chat in those local recordings. Well, today we're going to show you how to take your Go XLR, set up multi-tracks in OBS. Yes, you're going to lose out on that single audio source, but it's going to be better for the long run, trust me. So just some forewarning before we begin, those of you who have a single PC setup, in other words, OBS is running from the same PC that you're gaming from and streaming from, this video is going to work out perfectly for you. Those of you with a dual PC setup, we're going to have to come up with potentially other options to pull this off. The issue is whatever PC the USB cable from the Go XLR is plugged into, that's the PC that gets all the outputs and all the inputs provided by the Go XLR. In a dual PC setup, it's very common that you hook up your Go XLR to your gaming PC, and then you route that audio to your streaming PC from a single aux cable going from the line out to the line in on your streaming PC. Clearly, if you're running your setup like that and you have a single aux cable going into your streaming PC, providing the audio for everything, you're not gonna be able to separate your audio out through that alone. So we're gonna give you some options if you're a dual PC user um, on how you could potentially still pull off multi-tracks. We actually have some videos covering some of those options as well. So when we go over those in this video, we'll post an image of those videos so you can go directly to that video. Basically, a little picture will show up on the screen. That's the title of the video. And we'll also have it linked down below in the description. So, you know, check out that other video. That other video is going to help you achieve this. 
Yeah, don't worry. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. As usual, before we begin, I want to tell you about my Twitch channel. I do stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday weekly, usually from early afternoon to early evening with optional streams every Monday and Friday. Definitely would love it if you come hit that follow button, hang out and chat. And if you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, the chat is a perfect place to ask those questions where we can have an actual conversation and go over your specific setup. All right, so let's actually set this up now okay so this is uh, an instance of my obs you're seeing half of it right because my camera's taking up a, a good amount of space um you can see that i have multiple uh tracks here my audio mixer and then i also show my audio monitor for the various tracks that i have so just a heads up we have three things here we have alerts we have music and we have go xlr this represents the stream mix since my go xlr is plugged directly into this machine um that obs is running from for the tracks track one represents my stream track track two represents my vod track track three represents my recording track that's very important try to keep that in mind as we go through this so the first thing we're actually going to do is go into the settings here let me pull that over all the way to the side here and we're going to check out the audio here so we have a number of things that show up here right all of our go xlr inputs and outputs appear somewhere in this global audio devices section here we're going to see all our outputs right those are considered desktop audio so we see our game our chat our system our sample and our music and then in the mic auxiliary audio that's anything that's considered input you're going to see your broadcast stream mix you're going to see your mic yep there it is right there and another uh copy of the sample okay that's the point we can grab these individual audio outputs and inputs and just pump them into obs as needed um and again this is only possible because we're running obs from the same machine that our go xlr is plugged into via usb so here we've grabbed a music we've grabbed a game so game here represents the audio output that i use for my sound alerts and my twitch alerts on my stream okay so that's what game is used for and of course the broadcast stream mix so let's go ahead and get out of here real quick um let's look at the advanced audio properties real quick so going in here let me get this into view for you guys uh, do, 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 do. maximize it out okay so we're going to use our little scroll bar here to explain this we have the alerts right here and that's going to track one and track two remember track one is my stream track track two is my vod track so if I set this up correctly, my game output, which I'm calling alerts, because that's what I use for my alerts, is going to my stream and my stream VODs on Twitch. Uh, going down the list, we can ignore this. This is just a browser source. It's not actually producing any audio. Here's the Go XLR. That's my stream mix. That's the most uh, recognizable output for you guys, hopefully, who own a uh, Go XLR that is going to one two and three so that goes to everything let's go to my stream it's going to my vods and it's going to my local recordings this last one is music and that is only going to one because one is just my stream so i don't want my music in my vods and i don't want my music in my local recordings okay so that's the idea behind uh the tracks let's actually see if we can set up those tracks so to do that we have to go into our settings here and go to output so i am recording right now so this is of course grayed out but you can see that i've set the audio track for streaming to track one i've checked the box for twitch vod track and i've selected only two our vods are only going to pick up the audio that are assigned to track two stream is only going to pick up the audio that is assigned to track one and then we go to our recordings again it's grayed out because i'm recording right now is going to pick up track three and four Go ahead and ignore four right now that's part of an experiment that i'm trying out right now just just notice that it's three three is where it gets all its stuff and that's basically that the only other thing we have to actually look at is the go xlr software itself let me make this a little bit smaller drag that into view okay so this is the routing table so notice our music is not going to our broadcast stream mix this is really important if we, we showed that our broadcast stream mix, aka what we're calling GoXLR and OBS, is going to track one, two, and three. So if music went to our broadcast stream mix, we would accidentally record it everywhere. 
Um, same with our game. We're not sending it to the broadcast stream mix because we're trying to exclude it from track three and the GoXLR is set to output to track three in OBS. Whereas our chat, our mic, and I believe our system audio, yes, is all going to the broadcast stream mix and therefore is going to be recorded in our stream, in our VODs, and in our local recordings. That's how we set it up from the routing table. And I almost forgot this is important to bring up on the routing. So some people don't make the mistake of thinking, well, if you're not sending your music or your alerts to your broadcast stream mix, how do you hear it? How do you listen to your own music and your own alerts? It has nothing to do with the broadcast stream mix. You can see they're checked for headphones. So they're still coming out to my headphones. They're just not going out to my stream. That's very important. Even though for OBS, and this is very important, when you add these GoXLR outputs to your stream individually as separate audio sources muting them on the hardware changing the volume of a mix or a fader on the hardware has no effect on these so for example i have a music fader or a fader dedicated to my music uh, that's the wrong thing so let me go ahead and play music real quick and we can see right here that music is only going out in track one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the mute button on my music. And that changed nothing. Track one is still picking up music. Right, so my faders now, my hardware faders do not control the audio that is coming through um, my my music channel anymore uh, it only controls it for my headphones which is nice because i don't want my music to change for my viewers but sometimes i might want to mute it and i might want to change the volume of it so here i am changing the volume of it unmuting it and it has no effect which is the desired outcome so that's actually a really important thing to understand make sure you understand that going into this when you add separate go xlr outputs and inputs into obs independent of the stream mix or the the line out if you're on a dual pc setup those audio sources will no longer be affected by the physical faders on your go xlr itself some people might think of that as a negative in my opinion that is not a negative when you go and set up your stream you should be creating recordings and, and, and listening and watching your own VODs to make sure that that volume audio is at a good balance. And if you're anything like me, you're constantly adjusting and trying to create the best audio experience for your viewers. And once you finally find that balance, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Stop messing with it. You shouldn't be changing your game volume or your voice volume or anything like that all the time during your stream. Your viewers should get a constant volume or constant audio experience. So to me, this isn't a negative, this is a positive. So I can set those audio parameters exactly where I want them from my music and my alerts, and then I can adjust it for what I hear in my headphones as needed. I'm the one who has to play the game. I'm the one who potentially needs some, you know, differences in how I hear things, not my viewers. My viewers just need to have the best audio that they can get for the experience. So we have one more thing to talk about before we move on from this section, and that's for those people out there who run a dual PC setup. So you have a few options here. First option is actually very simple. Take your GoXLR, plug it directly into your streaming PC. I know that everybody has probably seen uh, Harris over at Alpha Gaming uh, tell everybody not to do that. Um, it's entirely fine to do that. The only thing you're going to miss out from doing that are games where you use game chat. And there's actually ways around that as well. We're not going to get into that into this video, but there are ways around it. And there are some serious advantages to having the GoXLR connected directly to your streaming PC. We just, this video is all about one of those major advantages. But additionally, it allows you to keep Discord a little bit private, right? It's on your streaming PC, not on your gaming PC, which is, you know, being streamed to the world at that moment. And, you know, it allows your gaming PC to focus entirely on gaming, which is never a bad thing. The negative about doing that really just depends on your streaming PC. If your streaming PC is just enough to pull off streaming, then hooking up a GoXLR to the streaming PC, running a GoXLR app along with Spotify or whatever you're playing your music on um, and Discord might be a little too much for that PC to handle while streaming at the same time. 
but if that's not the case and you you have the room to pull this off then yeah just go ahead and plug it directly to your streaming pc another option is to set up a dual go xlr setup now that you know is not cheap go xlrs are kind of expensive but it is an option it's what i do in order to give myself more faders and um solve a unique situation with my game audio um plus it it just kind of looks cool on your desk but it is an expensive option and it solves this right because then you can take one go xlr hook it up to one pc take the other go xlr hook it up to the other pc and then you don't have this problem the third option is just accept that some audio perhaps is not going to be part of your go xlr so if if the pr two previous options don't appeal to you or not an option to you for whatever reason um maybe consider separating your music from your go xlr so what i mean by that is going in here and basically creating an output a desktop output that has nothing to do with your go xlr that you're going to output spotify or whatever music application you're using and run only your music from your streaming pc go ahead and continue to run all your audio from your gaming pc as you've been doing but maybe at the very least run your music application from your streaming pc output that audio into a different audio uh mixer separate from the go xlr line in that you're using to capture your go xlr from the gaming pc that way at the very least you can remove that music from your twitch vods and you can remove that music from your recordings and that's it guys that's how you set up multiple audio mixer tracks in obs using a go xlr I hope this video was informative and I hope most of you out there who have a GoXLR will start implementing this immediately. There's a lot of power in what I just showed you. Now you're going to have the ability to take your audio, send only some of it to your stream, some of it to your VODs, some of it to your recording, all of it to your recording, all of it to your stream, whatever you want, whatever you need to do. You're no longer limited by that single audio source from either the stream mix or the line in if you follow what i talked about in this video a little off topic but somewhat related we talked about setting up you know a specific track for your recording uh, the real beauty of this is you can start recording while you're streaming so instead of streaming a bunch of content and then having an entirely different session just to do recordings so you can create content for other social media you can now do this just in one go while you're streaming go ahead and start up the recording as well uh, on a separate track that's only going to pick up the audio that you want in your local recordings this makes you a much more efficient content creator and allows you to save a lot of time i mean streaming and then recording then streaming then recording Just stream and record at the same time if you like the video i'd really appreciate it if you went down below hit that like button it would also be great if you'd hit that subscribe button but no pressure if you have any questions about this content or any of my other videos definitely jump into my live stream talk to me about it in chat this isn't something that i have any problem with talking about during my live stream so you know i'd love it actually if you came there and, and you have questions about this let's let's talk about it right there on the live stream um other than that go ahead and leave a comment below with any questions you have i'll also try to answer those questions as well i think that's it i don't i don't think there's anything else to do i want to thank you again for watching the video and have a good one